Hi everyone, how are you doing? Thanks again for popping by. Hope you've been having a good weekend. It's just about to end here in the UK. I'm back to Monday. So, TPT. Everyone's favourite little chuckle buttock. Yep, tight pants Tony. He's, but it's going to be lots of teas now. He's been talking in Trinidad and Tobago today. Um, and someone, they weren't at the actual talk in that building, but then it was um, broadcast live to the congregation, so they could they could hear his words of wisdom. And he's at it. He's been on, on, on his favourite subject again. Blooming trousers. What is it with that man and trousers? That, it just can't, that can't be healthy. And he's off about dead bodies again. You know the one we've had before about... Um, yeah, there's going to be um, dead bodies split out like hot dogs everywhere. And the smell will be terrible, you see, see. He doesn't sit, go as many, do as many, see, see. That's the gangster thing that he used to do. He's, he's toned that down. So have a look. This is a report. Thank you very much, the reporter on Reddit. Trinidad and Tobago special visit of Anthony Morris the third C C better known as Type Pets. Tony, the title of the talk was Is Your Family a Spiritual Family? C C This was clearly aimed at parents. Oh yeah, because oh yeah, it's gonna be the that's the other topic he likes, you know. Don't 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 let them have a, a car, C C C unless they get baptized, C. Um so he began by Satan is attacking families. Um today, um Via, via the watchtower. Oh, sorry, no. Um, Satan is attacking families today throughout the world. And that's in the Bible, see? <laughs> that's the quote he said, that's in the Bible. However, this person is, is a great reporter. However, he never opened the Bible or quoted any scripture to support this statement because, to my knowledge, there isn't any scripture that says this. He then even mentioned, as apostates for a minute. <laughs> There should be like an apostates drinking game, and every time one of them mentions apostates, it's like, wee. Oh, oh for goodness. He, he said he hates, he hates when apostates refer to the Borg as a cult. <laughs> so you all know what to do now, don't you? <laughs> see, see. Um, why, according to him, no one here was forcibly dragged into the whole world. Well, Metaphorically, people are and tied to chains to listen. That's a cult, in his words. Oh dear, 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 dear. Oh dear, dear. Do you need to send Stephen Hassan or one of the others round to have a, have a little natter in his shell? Like, I laughed at his weak straw man, but the audience lapped it up. Say, one thing that really is getting on my nerves now is it getting on yours? One thing that really stood out to me, but it's in my head all the time, was the blatant fear mongering he used. Of course, he did. He told the audience to look at people, oh, this is horrible, look at people when they go to the grocery, for example, and ask themselves how many of them will survive Armageddon. And we know that he says it's all going to be smelly. He then quotes Jeremiah, which says that they will be bodies strewn from one end of the earth to the other, and that we will witness that and even be traumatized by it. I thought, even be traumatized? I thought they were saying that they we, people wouldn't be traumatized. Anyway, he then tells, oh, here we go. He then tells parents to look at their children and ask themselves if they see their children surviving Armageddon or not. For flip's sake, boy. Oh. He's, he's, you know what, he's obviously got out one of um, C.T. Russell's old talks and just given that, isn't it? You know, imagine, imagine Russell. Charles Taze Russell, 1908, given given the exact same exact same talk, but it would probably be was your you know and be talking about was your cravat too sort of voluminous or something like that. Oh dear, um, I was honestly disgusted at that point. That's talking about you, will your children survive Armageddon? I mean, it's serious stuff, and could not hide my facial expressions or keep 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 undercover there. He is clearly preying upon the parents' fears to manipulate them into making sure their children commit to the religion. Classic cult propaganda. I also hate the fact that they constantly dehumanize non-witnesses. 
to the point where they see them as already dead without any individuality. And that is a very, very strong propaganda tool, isn't it? That's how the Nazis got away with, with death camps. They started with disabled people. Disabled people were called useless eaters. They were less than human. So then it became easy to destroy them. Then they went on to Jewish people. Yep, they, were, they weren't human. No, 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 they weren't human. Oh, so let's get rid of them, you know? Yeah, you can't, you, you can't actually get people to do these things unless you, you prepare their minds in that way. Um, so, t tight pants Tony went on to somehow relate dress and grooming to having a spiritual family. Oh, dear, dear, he'd be rotten on the inside, eh? But, hey, you got a smart suit on. True to his nature, he talked about young men and their tight-fitting suits and pants. He literally spun around on the stage. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and said that while he was a large, fat guy, he would never defile Jehuba's name by wearing one of those tight suits. A bit spinning around. There was a, In the 70s, the Muppets did a, a, a crazy ballet sequence where they had... Um, Hippopotamuses wearing sort of ballet tutu, tutus, tutus, tutus. Do you choose tutus? Um, yeah, while well, they were sort of pirouetting and things. Oh dear. Um, apparently, tight pants defile God's name. He then mentioned sisters' tight-fitting dresses. I bet he did say, especially those who had a nice figure. They would make brothers look away lest they be stumbled. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't know. Okay, serious. Interestingly, he did not equate men wearing tight pants with stumbling sisters. Now, he'd mentioned that before because he said about that um, none of the sisters like it, see, because it was all for the. He says it's, isn't it, for the benefit of gay men? The tight trouser thing. But he equated sisters in tight clothing, stumbling brothers. Make of that whatever you will. We shall. Thank you. The point of this talk was to basically push parents into making sure that their children become witnesses. We need that ice cream money. They used guilting and fear tactics to basically leave parents with no choice other than to do what he says. That's true. I'm afraid this will lead to parents possibly forcing their young children to commit to the cult more and more and at an earlier age. And we've we've seen it when as an adult they're talking, those those same kids, baptized kids, they're talking now as a, as an adult to to a group of elders and the elders say but you knew when you got baptized what it was all about. You knew you committed yourself and what the consequences would be. And they went, but I was 10 years old. Oh, dear me. So, so wrong. And that was one thing I, you know, I remember in the old days. You know, I, I was told, you know, we, oh, we don't believe in child baptism. Oh, and, you know, the um, Catholics baptizing little babies. And how can they know at that age? And... Boy, oh boy, oh boy. They have become the thing. Maybe they always were. But now they are visibly, they've become the thing that they said they despised. Ah, my hope is, that, back to this, my hope is that this talk just passed through the ears of parents, but didn't they? Rather than they taking it to heart. Of course, he made no mention of the Palmer documents. Oh, why should he? Trousers are on the agenda. Palmer documents. The horrors in there, <sighs> like victims, victims, and that. I'm sure they were concerned about the blooming tightness of trousers. I bet, or anything relating to the child abuse scandal. Yeah, deflect, deflect. I'm sure no one here even knows about these issues anyway. Well, you never know. I've been PMO, which that means for anyone who doesn't know, physically and mentally out code for the last four years. That's a hard one to keep going with, isn't it? And I've been lurking in the sub. Well done. This is my second post. Oh, thank you for the wonderful community that we have here. Thanks for reading, guys, and ask any questions you want to in the comments. I'll be available to answer them. Good for them. Thank you for sharing. And continuing down in, in this thread, um, someone says, it, it's honestly beyond laughable that the GB have people convinced that they are Christ's brothers was it angel michael's brothers um jesus message was packed with dress and grooming 
I hope all those angels are in their, their robes properly. I'll tell you that. And lots of gloom and doom. Oh, wait, it wasn't they put. Interesting, someone says, was the fact... Oh, this is the original poster. Interesting was the fact that Watchtower Summary, done right before the talk, discussed the Pharisees and their attitude about being obsessed with small details but ignoring the major things of the law. Strain that gnat. The GB are doing exactly what they condemn the Pharisees to be guilty of. Or at least what the Bible condemns, Jesus condemned the Pharisees to be guilty of. <laughs> I can know someone puts. I can only imagine being Jehovah these days and looking down from the heavens thinking. Remember, Jehovah always has an American accent. Boy, I hope all these eight year old witness kids get baptized soon before I'm forced to destroy them. You go, Tony, warn them. Tony, if you're reading this, you are a cult leader. The chains aren't physical, but they are there all the same. What said? The chains of fear, obligation, and guilt. All three that we can clearly see in your joke of a discourse. Um, someone was saying about it, it seems like it's um, his signature talk. He's been doing this for, for at least since, was it 2014, I think. Someone says he hopes to be able to catch TPT talk in his lifetime and tra travel pretty far to do so. They say, if I ever get the chance, it would be like watching a Donald Trump striptease. Not pretty at all, but an experience for a lifetime still. Warning. Warning. Uh, oh, someone's talking about... Um, you know, amazing that he goes down to the, the, the lovely climbs of Trinidad, Trinidad and Tobago, just when it's like all cold in, in Warwick and things. It's a bit, a bit Rutherfordy, that, isn't it? Oh, yeah, I've just, just gone to go down to San Diego. What, yeah, winter, winter. Mm, mm. I don't know. Someone said, let's look at the positive. The more he rents, the more someone who is on the edge will consider doing more research. And there's lots of people saying about, you know, it's the, the governing body that they think they're having a competition, you know, who can stumble the most people and get them out because that's what they're doing between them. Oh, dear. TPT goes on to somehow relate dress and grooming to having a spiritual family. They say, I'm big on watching crime dramas. I'd like to ask TPT if he's ever noticed that the most vicious killers don't attract attention to themselves with extravagant clothing. In fact, they look just like the guy next door. Hmm, something to think about. Oh, dear. And someone mentions um, the other famous... Uh, TPT subject about you know hey ladies see see if you know if a, what is it if a man is not a ministerial servant by the time he's like four years old you know thirty six inches high then he's not marriage material or something ridiculous like that and feeling sorry for their friend about it oh people have talked about looking round and think oh every everyone's going to be gone now, yeah they'll all be dead come Armageddon. Ah, someone says, <clears throat> I find it interesting how they keep referring to what the apostates are saying. Obviously, they are paying attention. <laughs> someone says, dude is spreading crazy all over. I'm sure Jesus will be impressed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> or some says something rude. Yeah. La, la, la. Ah, dear, 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 dear. Someone says he loves love listening to TPT making a fool of himself. <laughs> Someone's saying about people don't forcibly join cults. That's hence why you have the love bombing. <laughs> and they're still again referring to um Sith Lordius here is referring to what's his face? I forget his name now, Let. As young ones again. That's it now. It's just got all their little names, you know. Thought he was the the bat poo crazy one. Seems they all keep trying to outsmart each other. Yep, they do. They do. Oh dear. And someone was mentioning back again that you know that TPT, he was in Vietnam and he had a very bad time of it. And yeah, he's he's got some. He he needs to work out some issues, which would be understandable anyway about um. What he saw saw in Nam, 
and while he hasn't sorted out those issues, it was perhaps not a good idea to be talking about dead water or dead bodies. Uh, someone says story time. In my old hall, there was his brother who would wear tight suits, tight pants. Didn't help that he was slightly overweight. It's like he wanted to pretend he could wear fitted suits. Then that talk happened and he loosened up his clothes, but he still wore the brightly coloured socks matching his brightly coloured tie and pink shirts were well, good for him. Personally, I liked how he dressed. He was comfortable and confident in what he wore. So who should give him any crap about it? Well, then a local needs talk happens and pants with a hemline. Oh, this is ridiculous. Pants with a hemline that shows too much socks and bright coloured ties and shirts are a no-no. He says so in the Bible, right? So he changes once again. Now he's nailed down Mrs. Meetings like crazy. Ah, Just happens he has no skills, isn't an effective speaker, just happens to have a penis. And the org is really short right now on qualified penises to take charge of congregations. Imagine going on about how much sock you show. That is off the flaming scale. And then the original poster says that's sad how they did that to him. I wait for it. However, TPT did actually mention socks. What? 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 And, oh, he says he has no problem. <gasps> so there you are, guys. Wear gay socks to your heart's content. And gay as in the original version of it. Um, he says he has no problem because they are just socks. Oh. Uh.